Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Let's play Throne and Liberty. As you can see, I'm already here playing Throne and Liberty on servers in Korea. This evening we are going to continue to play at least on my uh, three of my characters, right? Probably on all of the characters. Two level 50, one, uh, I don't know which level even, I need to level up still one character. And we are going to check the news, what is happening on servers in Korea, and also regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. We are getting very close uh, to a global closed beta test, that will happen just in a few days. So hype is real, I hope you have get the key, I hope you will participate, NDA will be up, so no streaming, no videos, no information, but it will be really enjoyable to participate in this global beta test. So, uh, while we are waiting for some kind of global announcement regarding release date from Amazon Games, we can enjoy playing this game on servers in Korea. So welcome everybody to live stream, let's have some fun. Marco Sack, what's the endgame in Korea now? Do they have some raids? Yes! Marco Sack raids are one of the main features of this game. So you can see here, this is map of the game, Marco. Marco Sack, Marco Sack, Marco Sack. You can see here, this is open world map of the game, right? On the left side, you can see the schedule. You can see the schedule, which I'm scrolling. This is schedule for world bosses and raids. There are many raids. Every few hours, you have peaceful raids and PvP raids. There are two types of raids. In peaceful raid, PvP is not possible. Only you hit the boss. In, P in PvP raid, you need to uh, PvP also during the hitting the boss. At the same time, for example, 6 o'clock, you have two peaceful raids, a ra a raids and one, a one PvP. At 9 o'clock, two PvP raids, one peaceful. At uh, uh, 13 o'clock during day, look, seven raids. 3 o'clock during day, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 raids. There are many raids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Endgame is very rich. Endgame is very rich. Gold. How do you get gold? So gold is one of the currencies. You, I have currently 18 million of gold. You can see, right? Uh, let's put it here. Okay. So gold, how do you get? Uh, you can get gold on many ways. Best way to get gold is by playing events. There are always some kind of events in the game. Always. And knowing NCSoft, I know NCSoft, uh, their strategy from other games, basically there is always like three or four, two or three, two or three events active in the game. Now, sorry, you can always use, use those events in the game in your advantage to get gold. Gold or Solant, in-game currency, right? You can, you can get pretty easy. Also, you can sell items uh, to NPC vendor. For example, you can sell gear which you don't need. You can sell books. You can sell materials to vendor, like normal NPC in the game, right? Trading vendor, and you get gold directly, right? So not a problem. More problem will be Lucent, but Lucent you can get also by swiping a card on pay-to-win way, but you can also get on free-to-play way. So you need to collect marine or different kind of materials. Uh, you can go uh, get gear. Some gear parts are tradable. You can go into crafting. If, you're, uh, if you get a greater prots, the best prots during crafting, then you can sell that gear part. If you get a lower prots, then you cannot, right? And there are, there are ways how to get, no problem, yeah. Yeah. What will make the game more than perfect is they got to focus more on solo play, yes. Exactly. They're great. You read my mind. You read my mind. So, Throne and Liberty is an amazing game. Don't get me wrong. It's an amazing game. But it's highly dependable. Highly, highly dependable on guild gameplay. The great changes are coming to the game, which is, they are kind of moving away a little bit from that guild gameplay. So that means you don't need to play necessary solo. You know what I mean? You don't need to play solo. But you don't need to be actually, you will not need to be part of the guild that you get all the benefits. So you'll be able to play. I agree the great. Hyperlaw. I don't think that bot's problem is that huge actually as people making it. You know, look, every good MMORPG, every good MMORPG have bots. How will you actually recognize one of the ways how to recognize that game is good? MMORPG. It, it needs to have bots. If there are no bots in the game, that means that 
Well, that is not worth to put them in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, wait, but absolutely. We will have... <laughs> yes, we will also have them. But look, I don't know what World of Warcraft, uh, Lost Ark, uh, whatever. Most of the most iron. I know so many MMORPG, MMORPGs which have bots. Uh, just that problem shouldn't be that much excessive. You know what I mean? So if you have like situation, if you remember in Lost Ark, there was in one point in time when there was there more than 600,000 bots in the game. Uh, there was like on Steam database, peak number of players were 850,000 players. And then Amazon games have a ban like 600,000 bots, number of players dropped down to 200K, 250K. That's too much. That's way too much, right? When you have basically more bots than players, that is a problem. But, you know, Edo Sakai, welcome to live stream. Nice to see you here, Edo Sakai. Welcome. Yeah. Antrage, that's good that you didn't see a bot week or two. Yeah. Main class is SNSGS, yes. yes. SNS with anything almost. In this beta, they want to test everything before release because they want a rough launch. Don't worry, rough launch is going down long quest. Yes, Hyperlaw. Uh, Hyperlaw. I'm hoping uh, that you will not get any more any kind of test. I think that after this, we are going directly for global release, right? I don't think that, that there, will be, there will be any open beta. Hyperlaw. I don't think there will be any open beta. I don't think so. I have a feeling that for this test, they want to... Uh, look... There will be sieges, two sieges, and tax delivery system. Uh, they want to stress test. People always, you know what people say? People say to me in the comments below my videos, hey man, uh, they need to do open beta because they want to stress test. They need to stress test. What do you mean stress test? They can do the stress test right now in closed beta, right? There will be two sieges, massive sieges, thousands of people. Crossplay, crossplay enabled, uh, tax delivery system. If they want to do stress test, they don't need to wait open beta. They can do it right now, close beta. You know what I mean? The best option for PvP is a dagger crossbow mix, yes. But you'll be eaten by still, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I'm so looking forward to release very soon, uh, hope mid May, June. Yes. Yeah. Hyper low, I agree. I agree. After this, we'll find out. I just hope that Amazon Games will not be silent another half here. <sighs> you know what I mean, Hyperlo, guys? That they will not be silent another half year after this beta test. For a noob that know nothing about the game, what do you recommend for PvE build and PvP build weapon combo? So, uh, Andu, Andu, uh, I recommend for both. Crossbow, crossbow dagger. Crossbow dagger or longbow dagger. For PvE and for PvP. Uh, for PvE because uh, dagger will buff your damage and crit damage in generally. And for PvP because dagger has some active skills, not only passive skills, active skills like stealth, like ambush, like poison, which could be useful in PvP. So yeah, Andu, crossbow dagger. Longbow dagger, anything with dagger, uh, GS dagger, almost anything with dagger. Eileen, Eileen, wait, I, Eileen, wait, is it Eileen? Eileen, what's a good class to play in this game? I'm playing during the closed beta test. Uh, there are no classes. There are no classes in this game. In, in this game, you have roles, and you are deciding the role of your character by combining two different weapons. That means, for example, if you pick sword and shield combined with wand, you are tongue. If you pick, uh, if you pick a dagger and crossbow combination of weapon, you are DPS. If you pick a wand and staff, you are healer. So there are no classes, but there are roles. And you can pick between lots of different kinds of weapons. Yeah. Bring on close better test. Indeed, they won't. Yeah, at least I think so, right? Dagger is mostly used in secondary, exactly. Used mostly because of the script passes and poisons. Exactly, exactly. Can't wait to create my wizard again. Oh my god, I had a blast. <laughs> nice. 
Thank you. You're welcome, Andu. You're welcome. Best combo for bow. Uh, for bow. Either dagger or staff. Dagger or staff. But if you go if you go bow staff, if you go bow staff, you will be squishy. You will be squishy. But you will have very nice range damage. Genok, welcome to live stream. Welcome, Genok. You can go bow dagger, you can go even bow greatsword. Uh, you can go bow staff, both range weapons, but then you'll be squishy. Bow dagger is good. Crossbow dagger best DPS in the P by squishy in PvP. Yes. I feel bad for people who have not got a key, but it's worth uh, it, guys. Yeah. Don't worry, release of the game probably soon, right? So, JP, welcome to live stream. Nice to see you here, JP. When you play a longbow and wound, you're only supporter, you can deal damage. You can make damage. JP, uh, like true healer. Look, you can play basically, if you want to heal and support, you can play any combination of weapon with wound. Wound itself have two healing abilities, one healing for group, one solo, right? And also shield. So you can play wound dagger, you can make damage. You can play uh, wound a longbow, for example. You can put a longbow skills, like active skills, damage skills. And you can put few healing skills from wound. So you'll be able to make damage uh, also and support. Yeah. And uh, heal. You can do both. You can do both. Unless it's uh, free to play. Yeah. Me not got key, but at least for first hand experience in global. So everything you know. Yes, Terana. That's true. That's true. Even better, maybe. Even better. Yeah. Every combo can make damage, true. I'll be creating a guild shortly. Nice. That's nice. That's nice. Honestly, your primary is 8% all that matters. Exactly. Your second, it tends to be more situational, I feel. Yes. Situational and, and uh, you pick specific skills from your secondary. And mostly you are playing also your secondary because of the passive skills. You're not playing your secondary only because of your active skills, but also because of your passive skills. But you become a magician as a healer, as a warrior. You can become a magician and healer as a warrior. Well, yes, all depends what you play, Baladur. All depends what you play. No, Juicier Knight. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Juicier Knight, welcome to live stream. Welcome, welcome. What's the best combination for a full healer? Uh, Wound stuff. Wound stuff, I would say. Wound stuff. But, but look. Uh, also, ooh, Wound the Longbow. Hernambla, full healer. Either wound staff, either wound longbow. Longbow have very nice skills which are supplementing your healing, additionally. And that uh, cooldown reset. So, uh, we will lose uh, progress after the close beta. Yes, IMG, IMG, welcome to live stream. Yes, of course, of course, they will wipe everything completely, yes. Hyperlow, I love all of your videos and I have subbed on your YouTube. I have followed you for years, dude. Thank you, Hyperlow. Hyperlow, thank you very much. I highly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. YouTube is my big focus. YouTube is big for my big focus. Guys, if you still didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will find link somewhere here. You will see link in my social media here on Twitch, right? Um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much in advance if you already had. Uh, Hyperlo, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm follow. I am mostly focused on on YouTube, and I can, I'm streaming also every evening. Okay, I am streaming every evening, but I'm not streaming at least not for now. Like I don't know, twelve hours or something. For release of the game, when we get global release of the game, I will live stream much longer. For now, like three or four hours per day, you know, every day. But every day, every single day, mandatory about this time, right? Yeah. Every build has some benefits uh, if you don't your style. True. Uh, yummy, yummy fox, yummy fox. Welcome to live stream. Uh, one bow is a true support. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. Absolutely, you're right. Wound stuff. Additionally, wound. I honestly here I have seen many people are recommending like wound wound uh, stuff as the main heal. But at least in my opinion, wound bow would be even maybe better. 
because bow have very nice skills. It has that skill uh, for self healing, uh, restoring HP. It has a cooldown uh, reset one skill. It feels very supplementary with with uh, you know with wand. You can do main longo and second wand, or main wand and second logo. Is it the same thing? Uh, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Uh, whatever will be your main weapon, you will use the most most of the skills from your main weapon, and just few skills from secondary. So you can go half half regarding the skills, right? But then again, still you'll have main most of the skills from your main weapon. Most of the skills will come from your main weapon, and some additional from secondary. So if you go longbow, uh, a main second the wand, you'll have most of the skills from longbow, some skills from wand. If you go wand main. A longbow secondary, you have most of the skills from uh, wand, some from longbow. I don't think there will be any ad for the game. It's, uh, it's only one, two weeks. There will be some ad. It cost I think, but not that much, I think. Yeah, I don't think that there will be like massive marketing campaign. And you need to consider that marketing campaigns uh, now in 2024, they are different uh, from uh, in the past, right? In the past, uh, it was custom to, uh, to put different kind of ads uh, within different kind of, I don't know, social platforms from IG uh, to Twitter uh, to YouTube videos. But now, you know what is the best marketing now in 2024? Forget about the ads. Forget about the ads. Best way to reach people is to pay big streamers like, I don't know, Asmogold, uh, I don't know, S-Fund, uh, Soda Poppin, uh, Shroud, uh, Lyric, uh, big streamers to pay them to stream your game. That is the best possible marketing. Ads, who care about the ads anymore? Usually when you see ad, you skip it, right? Uh, people skip ads, but the best marketing now in 2024, get some big streamer, get some big streamer, get Shroud, get uh, Amorant, get Amorant, <laughs> get, get Alinity, get, uh, get uh, I don't know, uh, right? And pay them real money to stream the game a little bit before release and for release. That is massive promotion. Imagine, imagine what kind of promotion for the game would be when Osmond Gold, Osmond, when he would play TL. He have more than 2 million subscribers on, on YouTube. And he have on Twitch, what, 20, 30,000 people watching his, uh, for his streams. Imagine when they would pay him, hey, play, play for two days. Just for two days, play Throne and Liberty. Oh my God, right? Or, uh, or Miskif. I was watching the other day Miskif streams, right? He have like 30K, 40K uh, people watching him. Uh, Kai Senat. I don't know, would Kai, uh, Kai Sinat can play Red, Red Dead Redemption, I can see, you know, Kai Sinat can like, what, 70, 80K, paying these people to play your game for the two days in a row, that's it. You don't need any advertising, you know? We will see what they will do, but they will do some marketing, they will do some marketing. They have marketing team in Amazon games, they have marketing team, they will do marketing. But obviously at this point in time, it's a little bit too early, right? So... They will do marketing after they announce a global release date. Marketing campaign will start then, like real marketing campaign, right? So, uh, they were debating, wait, where is that one? Ah, oh, this one. Yeah, I was more KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Guys, I'm first person, I'm already spoke to over 500 people about the game. I'm one person, I'm sure already over a million people are waiting. Yes, 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 yes. For sure, one million, one million, yeah. All depends, all depends on consoles, right? But yeah, yes. So they are aiming, guys, they are aiming heavily, heavily console market. Console market, they are aiming heavily, right? Never forget that uh, regarding Throne and Liberty. There will be like half of the players Population of players will be probably PC on Steam. Other half will be a PlayStation 5 and Xbox. If there will be, I think it could be like 
700k players, 800k from PC, not 1 million, not one from PC, and same as that from consoles. So 1.5 million for release. If everything goes well, 1.5, 1.6, 1.2, I don't think it will reach 2 million concurrent. I don't think it will reach concurrent players 2 million, but it will be go between 1 and, one and 2 million. 2 million from PC. He cost you, I hope you are right. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. 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 Okay, new video incoming on April 9. Uh, what new video? Bon Jovi, what new video coming on April 9? On Xbox, you can play with keyboard and mouse, right? Yes. I play for controller or work uh, very good. Yeah, controller is working very good, Morphe. Morphe, that's correct. Yes, on PC. I want to make some uh, web for total online charts since Steam will only count players on Steam. Bon Jovi, that would be great, but we don't have that. Yeah, Bon Jovi, that would be great. To have some website which would calculate players not only from Steam, from PC, but also for PlayStation 5 and Xbox. That would be amazing. A uh, New World, almost 1 million. New World was uh, 900 and what, 70,000, yeah. Yeah, almost 1 million from New World, it was. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, I can forget that. <laughs> yeah, it was not free to play. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Free to play, it's amazing. Yeah, everybody will play it. You know what is the thing? At least everybody will try to play it, right? It's a free to play game. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.